Hey Menzi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther. So guys, today um, there is nowhere I'm actually going. Um, I'm just at home on a Sunday, <laughs> which is not very usual for me. Usually a time like this, I would be out exploring with Alicia. But then as you guys know from my previous video, Alicia won't be featuring in my youtube channel for now because she traveled back to estonia estonia is her home country yeah so basically i need a new exploring partner if you're in malta you want somebody to explore with hit me up um i'm usually hesitant to explore alone in as much as i can but you know it would be nice to have an exploring buddy yeah so um today i'm filming such a controversial video and i just want to put out a disclaimer that in every beautiful thing there has to be an ugly side to it you know and there's no country which is perfect and um there are also things about kenya that i really don't like so now that i have lived in malta for five months i think i can point out some of the things that I hate about this country so in as much as Malta is beautiful it's amazing there are some ugly sides to this country yeah and you guys I have documented beautiful videos about Malta you know so just this one negative video <laughs> won't hurt okay because there are more positives than negatives at the end of the day so if you're Maltese or if you love Malta please don't come for me no country is perfect there are there are ugly sides to every country okay so I'm not filming this video to bash Malta or whatever at the end of the day I love living here and I wouldn't trade it for any other thing so yeah one of the thing i hate about malta is the public transport system yeah so <laughs> the public transport system here is shit. like if you're gonna wait for the bus most times it's going to be late yeah it's going to be late so probably if you're going somewhere that is quite far you probably want to go at least an hour early um just in case just in case like the bus doesn't come or it comes late just be prepared honestly just be prepared or you can decide to take bolt or use cool cool is actually way cheaper than bolt it's literally half the price if you check the price on bolt is 10 euro in cool it's gonna be five euro and it's the only disadvantage with cool is it will take like maybe bolt will be two minutes away but cool would be like 30 minutes away that's the only disadvantage that cool has you know and uh also like there was one time alicia and i were going to i'm not so sure if it was bujimba or whatever and um i was going to the bus stop first and then like the bus would pick up alicia to the bus stop close close by her house so i get to the bus stop and i realized like the road was closed so meaning there was no bus that was coming on that route so uh, it's just like so random like the roads will be closed the public won't be notified that this certain road has been closed and you'd be waiting for the bus for like forever and you would have no idea that a certain road was closed for whatever reason and the bus won't be coming so i don't know maybe a suggestion to the maltese government you guys have the talina app you could have like news over there and say this particular road is closed so don't be waiting for the bus on that section you know like just have updates so that people can be updated on the transport system or whatever yeah and also um since like roads are being constructed and of course like you'll be looking at the maps to check like which stop you need to get off and then you realize the bus is taking another route because a particular road is being constructed so that can mess up your journey there was one time like me and alicia were in the bus and i think we were going to medina i'm not so sure yeah i think we we're going to medina or whatever and then like of course i'm checking okay the bus is on the right route and then all of a sudden the bus takes another route because the main route was being constructed so you will have to get off at a bus stop close by and then walk all the way 
yeah the transport system here the public transport system here is just a mess but there's a positive thing to that yeah before look okay they have the option of the bus card and uh paying by cash but now you can pay with your visa card so you don't have to like have coins all the time all the time you can just use your visa card to pay for transport you know but of course having the bus card is way cheaper than paying with the visa card or paying with cash you would rather take you'd rather get the the what the bus card there's this bus card where it's just for 12 single day trips like if you're tourist you're coming here for a week you would rather get that bus card that's just for 12 single trips you know it's cheaper that way okay i had a lot to say about the transport system but anyway i'm looking at my phone because i have my points here another point is the beaches here the beaches here in as much as they are so beautiful most beaches here don't have sand beds so you end up carrying a lot of things to the beach you have a beach bag and you have to carry an umbrella the beach umbrella yeah and then even at the beach you have to like dig a hole for you to like mount the umbrella like it's just a lot of work going to the beach here however there are beaches that um that they provide sun beds but then you know maybe in in a beach bar or whatever but you have to buy something for you to use the sun beds and it's also since there are not so many beaches here that provide sun beds it's also very expensive so i don't know in cyprus we used to pay seven euro and fifty cents for two sun beds and an umbrella for the whole time that you're gonna be there so i don't know like they should provide beach beds I, I don't know about you guys but i don't want to go to the beach carrying a shitload of things like i have my beach bag i probably have like my snacks and stuff and then i have to carry a whole ass umbrella and it's not like i have a car i'm using the bus if i had a car then maybe i would i wouldn't like care really but if i'm gonna use a bus come on like provide sand beds to the beach you know provide sand beds uh, and then there is the construction problem everywhere you go in malta like when you land in malta the first thing that you notice there are cranes everywhere cranes everywhere literally two blocks away from my flat there is a construction going on so let's say during the week you're in the house you'll be hearing construction noises day in day out like it's just terrible and since there's construction happening the amount of dust that gets in the house and you know now it's summertime you can't afford to close the doors and windows it is hot it's literally hot so you need to open the doors and windows for air to get in and out but then also the dust keeps on coming in it's just a mess like construction everywhere literally i don't know it's just noise pollution it's like malta doesn't care about noise pollution like honestly do something you can't have like construction buildings everywhere it's such a small country but there's construction happening every day like you guys are gonna run out of land sometime <laughs> you know it's even the roads have been constructed all the damn time and the roads here are bad they're not good roads they're not there's so many potholes on the roads but then there's just road construction happening a lot or maybe they're like filling up some potholes it's just terrible you know and then also since ha, malta it's um there are limited green spaces so when it comes to parks or gardens there are not so many gardens or parks here where maybe you can go for a picnic they are not so many so it's very very limited um yeah i think that's why yeah most people prefer go to the beach but if you are really a nature person i don't think malta would be the country for you you just come here for the beach really but if you come here like for nature it's not the country for that and then yeah uh people get scammed here a lot uh especially when it comes to housing um I know somebody who he, he came from Germany and he paid a deposit for a house here so when he landed he was going to 
you know, move into the house and then he gets to the address, the address doesn't exist. <coughs> Sorry. So you have already transferred the deposit money and then you get there, there's, there's no house, there's, the address doesn't exist. So, like people here get, especially foreigners, they get scammed a lot when it comes to housing. Or maybe the landlord doesn't give you back the deposit because of some dumb reason. You know, like even when I was coming here, um, I was so scared of getting uh, a landlord who's like a landlord from hell, basically. So, like, I'm really thankful my landlord here is the best, the best landlord. He's quite understanding and he's also response fast, so which is a really good thing. Like, I have the best landlord ever, he's really cool, yeah so um maybe if you if you wanna if you're relocating to malta you would rather take an airbnb maybe for one or two weeks as you try and look for something permanent or maybe if you know some someone in malta and then you got you got a house you can send that person to go and view the house for you before transferring any form of money i remember even like when i was looking for for an apartment in malta when i was in cyprus um, I was being given like emails, emails of um, landlords. I don't know why they were giving me emails, like just give me the phone number, you know. So they would give me emails and then there's this one person asked me like, do, do you have cryptocurrency? And I'm like, what? You want me to pay in crypto? Like, <laughs> that's already a red flag, so no way um yeah so you really need to be very very careful get an airbnb for like two weeks and then look for something when you're here and or have somebody who is here already who can verify some of these things for you okay like i was uh, there's a point that i forgot to talk about when it came to the roads yeah the pavements here are really really bad um sometimes you might even find yourself sharing the roads with oncoming traffic because the pavements are so narrow for people to walk on because some of them are even filled with um trash because i told you guys in malta we don't have the bins like the green bins where each flat can throw their trash in that bin and then the garbage collectors can come and pick the trash in malta there are no green bins so um you just put your trash outside your flat on a particular day and then at a certain time they'll be collected so the street ends up looking so bad um and the trash occupies space on the pavement so you're wondering where are you supposed to walk there are no cycling lanes here you share the road with oncoming traffic and there have been incidents where cyclists have actually been knocked by cars so anyway it's a small country but i also think they really need to improve their roads yeah like also the trash bag the trash thing the garbage thing that i was talking about they need to provide bins on every flat so that they throw their trash on that so that every person on the flat throws their trash on that bin and then the garbage collectors can come and take the trash from those bins we shouldn't be putting trash like on the pavement it's just doesn't look nice um also another point is um fireworks they're usually fireworks noise especially on sunday and even yesterday saturday there were fireworks noise and it's just again noise pollution like all the time during the day why do you need fireworks i don't know can somebody explain this to me if you're maltese and watching this video could you please explain this fireworks tradition that you guys have <sighs> i don't know it's really really annoying fireworks during the day i mean you just want to rest because on monday you're going to work but then you can't because of the fireworks noise another thing is um let's say if you're a foreigner in malta and you complain about something so small what people would tell you what the locals will tell you is 
go back to your country and yeah i'm in this group on facebook expert malta and experts would like complain about something about malta and you would see at least one maltese would be like go back to your country and you're like dude this is an expert group and experts can complain about whatever they want to because maybe they've had a bad experience about a certain thing you don't have to tell them go back to your country like chill <laughs> we are just ranting we are venting out you know it's human nature to vent out about something so just relax okay yeah and of course the one of the main thing is malta is a holiday destination it's a tourist attraction country so it's very very expensive things are overpriced food house everything it's overpriced it's so so expensive so maybe if you're planning a holiday in malta make sure like you have a shitload of money i remember like my first month in malta it was really really hard to like adjust you know because i thought cyprus was expensive and then i came to malta malta is even slightly expensive and i was just like oh my god Cyprus wasn't even that bad, but then now I've stayed here for five months and I've kind of adjusted and um, you sort of find ways to go around the expense when it comes to groceries try and buy them at cheaper areas, you know um, Lidl, Lidl is the cheapest uh, main supermarket here and maybe these uh, grocery carts like if you want to buy vegetables, you'd rather buy from these cats. There are people who have cats, like uh, C-A-R-T, not cat, like the animal. Yeah, so um, you can buy like your tomatoes and onions from those guys. The vendors, they are very, very cheap compared to going to like a store or whatever. So yeah, I think, I think that's it. Yeah, those are some of the things that I really, really hate about Malta but overall it's a beautiful country you can come and visit the vibe here is amazing especially during summer so yeah don't shy away from coming to Malta like I said no country is perfect god knows Kenya is not it's far from perfect so those are the things that I really don't like about this country but all in all I'm enjoying my time and I've stayed here for five months now and yeah that's it so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're maltese and you think maybe um i've rubbed you the wrong way i'm sorry but this is just my opinion and um, maybe if you think i've said something wrong i'm open to correction comment down below you know and um also if you've been to malta and there are things that you hate about this country and I haven't mentioned it comment down below and you know let's have a conversation so yeah guys i will see you on my next one bye